When they built Saint Louis, the former capital of Senegal, the French dreamed of a little Paris beneath the African sun. Crazier still, a few kilometers away in the town of Richardol, a certain Baron Roger, in about 1827, had a little chateau built for himself in the middle of the bush. It was a folly little summer palaces of the Italian Renaissance. Some Senegalese today are fighting for it to be renovated. Have they been contaminated by the virus of extravagance? When Baron Roger became governor in 1822, Senegal was a base for slave trading until 1848. The Baron made a name for himself with the agronomic experiments he carried out with Claude Richard, the colony's head gardener. The town is so named because Richard's garden in Wolof is Richard Toll. From 1821, the avant-garde Baron was one of the founders of the French Society for the Abolition of Slavery. He spoke Wolof fluently and is thought to have married a local woman, Yassine Yerim Dio. He apparently built the folly for her. Cotton and groundnuts, like many other crops grown today in Senegal, originated in his garden, as did sugarcane. The plantations stretch as far as the eye can see. This is why Richard Toll is one of the most attractive towns in Senegal. Baron Roger's folly is in disrepair. The caretaker, the only person living in the chateau, likes to recount the Baron's mad ideas. Even though the bush has taken over the garden, you can still smell within it a perfume of the Grand Siècle. <laughs>